Hi there, my name is Dana Young. I'm going to lead you through a quick setup of the vacation rental virtual concierge that you can do for your own vacation rental. First step is to go to the website vacationrentalvirtualconcierge.com and here you can see a link how to set it up. So it's really just three steps. I've already done step one. I've uh, gone ahead and gotten an Echo. I have an account set up um, with Amazon that's specific to, to my vacation rental and I've gone ahead and followed the setup instructions um, to get it online. So I've got it here next to me. I can say, Alexa, what time is it? It's 10, 16 a.m. Okay, so let's move on to step two. We're going to log into the Alexa Companion app by clicking this link. It'll ask me for my credentials. And once I log in, I can go to the Skills section to find the Vacation Rental Virtual Concierge skill. So if I filter by Vacation Rental, it comes right up. If I click here, you'll see there's a big blue button that says Enable and Account Linking Required. It's very simple. All I have to do is click that blue button to enable. Now this window comes up that says Hi. Click Continue to sign in. I'll hit Continue. It may ask you to enter your password. And then another window, your vacation rental virtual concierge was successfully linked. You can now leave this page. So I'll shut that window down. And now when I come back to the companion app, you see the button says disable skill. So that indicates that the skill is now enabled. So now I can say, Alexa, use the concierge service. The setup process for your vacation rental virtual concierge hasn't been completed. Please see the message on your Alexa companion app for instructions on how to proceed. So what she's referring to here is if I go to the home page of the companion app, it has a little link here to the instructions on the website that we're already at. So if I go back over to the website, you'll see we've done step one and now we just completed step two and we'll move on to step three. And that's just to go to the owner portal to provide some customized answers. So this is the login page for the owner portal. I'm going to go ahead and log in with Amazon. I'm going to use that same exact account that I used previously. This is the owner portal where you enter information about your vacation rental. As you can see right now, it's completely empty. And what we do is just pick uh, to get started the type of property that we have. For example, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick Lodge. And you can see I've got placeholders in these various fields that provide some examples of the kinds of things that you might enter uh, for Alexa to speak to your guests for answers. For now, I'm going to go ahead and put just the name of the place in. So it is the Lodge at Palmer Lake. And up here in the upper left corner, I can then hit the Save button. A pop-up window says my inputs have been saved. OK. And now we're going to hear something different from Alexa when we say that same thing. Alexa, use the concierge service. Welcome to the Lodge at Palmer Lake. Sorry, I don't have any additional information right now. Stop. OK. So she doesn't have any additional information because we haven't provided any further information in any of these fields. So that is the next step. But just to give you a sense of how quickly we can make changes, let's go ahead and do something right now. Instead of a lodge, I'm going to say it's a cabin. And it's the cabin at Palmer Lake. Hit the Save button. Inputs have been saved. And now I'll ask that question again. Alexa, use the concierge service. Welcome to the cabin at Palmer Lake. Say, help, at any time to get some tips. 
Sorry, I don't have any additional information right now. Stop. Okay. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to fill in fields and uh, have Alexa then be able to respond very quickly with that new information. There are instructions up here in the upper right. If I click on instructions, um, you can see there is a fair amount of information here that you can go through to help you um, with this setup. But effectively, if I go back over to owner inputs, I'm just going to I'm going to enter information about my place and make that information available um, to your guests through the virtual concierge interface. So that's really the quick setup on how to get started uh, with a vacation rental concierge uh, for your place. Thanks.